Well, now let us look at how we can solve the CXC CSEC 2017 Mathematics Paper 2, Question 10. The diagram below, which is not drawn to scale, shows a circle with center O. The vertices H, J, K, and L of a quadrilateral line on the circumference of the circle and PKM is a tangent to the circle at K. The measure of angle HJL this angle over here is 20 degrees and JKH is 50 degrees. Now we are supposed to calculate giving reasons for each step of our answer the measure of angle HKL HKL this angle over here which is created by arc HL or called HL now remember that this same arc creates this angle in the same segment as HKL. Hence, angle HKL should be equal to 20 degrees. The reason is that angles in the same segment are equal. Now, we are supposed to calculate angle J O K. The angle over here. Now, this angle over here, we can calculate it using different approaches. But one of the ways we can do it is using the isosceles triangle JOK. So this angle over here with 50 degrees or so, hence. We have this angle plus this angle plus this angle summing up to 180 degrees. So we have angle JOK to be equal to 80 degrees. The reason is that the sum of interior angles of an isosceles triangle will give us 180. Also, we could have used a different approach. By finding this angle over here. Now we're told that this is a tangent. So if you find this angle over here, it will give us 40 degrees. Then this angle should be equal to the angle created in the alternate segment over here, is 40 degrees. And twice this angle should be equal to this angle. Which is 80 degrees. We could have done it that way also. Then the third one is angle G, G, H, K. G, H, K. So the angle created over here. Now know that this angle is created by the same arc J, K. That creates angle JOK at the center. Hence, angle JHK, this angle is half of this angle over here. And we found this angle to be 80. Hence, the angle over here is half of that, which is 40 degrees. So the angle over here is 40 degrees. And now note that this angle should always be equal to this angle because they are also in the same segment created by the same JK.
So the reason is that angle subtended at the center is twice, one subtended at the circumference by the same arc, which is arc JK. Now the B aspect, a ship travels from A on a bearing of 0, 030 0 degrees to B 90 kilometers away. He then travels to C, which is 310 kilometers due east of A. As shown in the diagram below. Now we are supposed to indicate on the diagram the bearing 0, 030 degrees and distance is 90 kilometers and 310 kilometers respectively so here will be our bearing then this will be our 90 kilometers and we have our 310 kilometers over here so 310 kilometers due east of a so this is due east of a it is the bearing of 30 degrees and there is a distance between A and B which is 90 kilometers. Now, we are supposed to calculate to the nearest kilometer the distance between B and C. This distance over here. Now, if you recall, this is not a right angle triangle. So this angle is 60, it's not a right angle triangle, so we can use the cosine rule. But before that, let's indicate this distance to be A kilometers. And this, by calculation, will give us 60 degrees. Then, by the cosine rule, we have A squared is equal to B squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a degrees so we sub in these values a then the length we sub in these values a 90 and 310 so obtain something like this now we simplify further to obtain something like this further simplification then we have a square equals 763 a square equals 76,300 find the square root positive square root then our a will give us two hundred seventy six point two two kilometers which is approximately equal to which is equal to 276 kilometers to the nearest length now we found a and that is the distance between b and c to the nearest kilometer 276 kilometers now the next question is we should calculate the nearest degree the measure of angle ABC. ABC. So the angle over here is what we are calculating. Now, to do that, we need to make use of the cosine rule again, or we can use the sine rule. So using the sine rule, we have A over sine a should be equal to b b over sine b which we are looking for so we just substitute the values into the formula then we make sine b the subject to obtain this then we simplify to obtain this now sine b is equal to 0 0.9712 so by trigonometry, this is found in two quadrants, either in the first quadrant or in the second quadrant. 
So we take the sine inverse of this. Then we have our angle to be either equal to 76.39 degrees, which is the acute angle, or 103.61 degrees, which is the obtuse angle. Remember that sine is positive in both the first and the second quadrant. So we have our B to be equal to 104 degrees. Our B cannot be equal to 76 degrees because this angle is more than 90. Hence our angle is 104 degrees over here. Now, so that's the nearest degree of the measure of angle ABC is 104 degrees. Now, we are supposed to determine the bearing of C from B. So, to find the bearing of C from B, we need to find this angle. Now, this angle is 104, and this is 60 degrees. So, we have 164. So, 180 minus 164 gives us 16. So, the angle over here is 16 degrees. Now, we need to calculate by drawing our cardinal points over here. So, using the angles in alternate property or uh, the angles the angle here is alternated to this angle so 16 and this is also 16 so the bearing is measured from here which is from the north to this line over here and this is already 90 hence the bearing of C from B will be equal to 90 plus 16 which will give us 106 degrees. We can also use this over here. This will be 30. This will be 30. And we know that this whole thing is 104. So this will give us 74. Then 180 minus 74 will give us 106 degrees. Now, more questions, more solutions are going to be uploaded very soon. I'm urging you to subscribe to my channel so that I'll be motivated to do more solutions of this kind. If you like this video, then don't hesitate to subscribe now.